Hello, hello. My name is Callista and welcome back to Pentiment. In the last episode, we arrived at the rat house and saw what was apparently the end of a two hours long argument. Klaus is adamant that the mural they create should show the history of Tassing as it really was. They should include the revolt. They should include all of the people who died in the ensuing chaos. This mural should be honest and truthful. And other members of the council, I'm, I'm looking at you, Father Thomas, I'm looking at you specifically, sir. Yet yeah, other members of the council kind of want to cover up what happened. They want something, you know, quite nicey-nicey, let's ignore what happened way back when. We won't talk about the revolt, we'll just, you know, throw a rug over it and pretend it never happened. I'd, I'm concerned. I'm concerned about Klaus because he is fighting tooth and nail for the truth. He is fighting tooth and nail and he is not going to back down and he's getting those letters. He's getting the letters with the purple ink and I don't want our dad to die. Klaus is a good dude. He's a good dude. He deserves better than that. I, I'm concerned. I am deeply concerned. Either way, either way, Magda wanted to write to her friend Esther. So, all right, where to begin? Ah, I should write to Esther. Dearest Esther, I hope you've been well. Autumn has reached us here in Tassing at last. I hope you and your family are well. Dad sends his regards to your parents, like usual. I'd, in, I'd, I'm, I'm concerned. I. That last conversation was so nice. It was so nice and loving and I'm just like <laughs> I'm I'm worried that those could be the last words of his that we ever hear and if they are we should absolutely send his regards to Esther's parents I hope you and your family are well dad sends his regards to your parents like usual I've spent the last few days collecting oak balls with sister Gertrude I don't suppose you have the chance to do that in Prague. Sister Gertrude has been teaching me how to grind them into a smooth ink. It's difficult work, but you'll find no better ink anywhere in Bavaria. I'll send along the bottle with this letter. Oh, did I mention? Dad started a new project. He's painting a mural of Tassing's history in our new rat house to memorialise the revolt. The whole thing has me thinking about my own family history. Past, present and future. And there's the past right above her. A mother and brother that she never knew. Damn. I don't think I want to stay in Tassing forever. It's a quaint place to grow up, but I'm 20 now. The printing shop has been in the family for years. I'm looking forward to taking it over. Ooh. I'm drawn to this because Andreas, he had such wanderlust. He had such wanderlust. And then, you know, there was the incident with his son, his son dying. And then he felt like, oh shit, I can't go home. He wanted to avoid home like the plague. So I like the idea of playing Magda as very like, oh no, Tassing is my home, why would I ever want to leave? This place is home, I love it here. I'd, I'd like to contrast them a little bit. We've, we've already seen Magda. <laughs> Magda has a mouth on her. She has a mouth on her way more than Andreas ever did. See, I, I like this for the contrast. The printing shop has been in the family for years. I'm looking forward to taking it over. Of course, Dad will keep running it until he can't pull the levers anymore, but I'll take over sooner or later. If I inherit the shop, I won't have to get married either. Of course, the print shop will be more profitable than anything else my husband does. Ooh. I kind of see. I, I see Magda as a single lady doing it for herself. I mean, 
let's be honest, let's be honest, all of the boys her age that we've seen so far, we've got Ots, trash, Craft, trash, Apollo, I don't want to call him trash because he's Big George's son, but he wasn't exactly like, you know, I wouldn't call him decent. All of the, well, there's Killian, there's Killian, oh, he's, he's, he was a, a young boy when Magda, he's probably about five, five years, that's nothing. Five years. There's Werner, if Werner hasn't been married. <laughs> that he's, he's a, he's a bit too old for her. He's a bit too old for Magda. But like, of all of the eligible bachelors in town, none of them are really all that. It's slim pickings in Tassing if you are a discerning lady. Yeah, I, th I think she's she's a single lady. Independent woman doing it for herself. If I inherit the shop, I won't have to get married either. Christ, you would not believe how annoying Ots is. I think his mum is under the impression he's been courting me. Can you imagine? And yes, before you break the nib off your pen, I will come visit you in Prague, I promise. I'll try to make time to visit before winter. Life has been bustling here. Dad's been busy with the rat house mural, so I've taken over in the workshop. I'm sure it will be a sight to behold once it's finished. Write back to me soon. All my love. Magda. Go to bed, okay. Can do yeah, so we, we do sleep down here. It's late. I should get some rest soon. Yeah, we will go to sleep. I'll go get Dr. Stoltz. Try not to move, Dad. Don't leave him. Don't leave him. He's not. That's, that's not. That's not. You ain't, you ain't fixing that. Just stay with him. Magdalene, it's not safe. Whoever attacked me. The wound is too deep for me to take care of on my own. We need Dr. Stoltz. I, I can't carry you across town, Dad. I won't be long, I swear. Please just hold on. I don't, I'm, I'm looking at the amount of blood. I'm looking on the amount of blood and he's, he's not a spring chicken. Let's be brutally honest. He is no spring chicken. He is not walking this off. I think she, I think she should just stay and hold his hand. <laughs> just stay and hold his hand because this is not. I, I can't carry you across town, Dad. I won't be long. I swear, please, just hold on. Magdalene, be careful. 
I will. I'll be right back. I promise. Tell him you love him. Tell him you love him because I, 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 don't, I don't think he's going to be there when we get back. Oh shit, his eyes are open. His eyes are open. Oh my god. Mm, I don't fucking like you. Get the fuck out. It's fine, it's fine. Do you know why anyone would want to attack you, Klaus? He lived. He did. Good, good job, Magda. Good job. Like, if you had followed my advice, he probably would be dead. But, like, good job, girl. Good job. No. Maybe someone didn't like one of the books I sold them. Are you sure you didn't see a shadow and hit your head on the printing press? No! Come on, George. You saw the workshop. Somebody was looking for something. Why, why are you saying that's preposterous? Why for, sir? Why for are you saying, oh, that could never happen, blah, 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 like, I... Sir, sir, if, I'm gonna be honest, if it isn't Thomas, if it isn't Thomas, one, I'm gonna feel horrifically guilty, but two, I'm, g who, who? Like, Big George did it. Big George was actually the scumbag manipulator this entire time. A burglar? In Tassing? That's preposterous. Well, if it wasn't an attack, what was it? Enough, it was a deliberate blow to the head. Unless any of you wish to debate my diagnosis. No, of course not. No. <laughs> Even... Even Father Thomas said, no. But he paused. He paused like he wanted to. As I thought. Truthfully, Klaus, I'm surprised the blow didn't kill you. You have a strong skull. Get in there. Get in there, my son. He's got a strong head. A strong, capable head on those shoulders. It's a grave injury. Magdalene, you'll need to help take care of your father. I will, whatever I need to do, obviously. I will, whatever I need to do. Good. Of course, the mural will have to be called off now. Klaus, you absolutely cannot get out of bed. No, no, it has to be done. This is too important. Just give me some time to rest. I'll find a way to make it work. I don't think we need to cancel the entire project. Can't we just wait? Klaus, your health comes first. Anyway, we haven't even been able to agree on what the mural should be. And now you're saying, oh, let's cancel it. Let's cancel it. From Werner, this makes sense. From Werner, this makes sense. You are now my patient. I now have to think about your best interests. And I do I do think that Werner is a good doctor. I think he's a bit... He's a bit... What's the word I'm looking for? He looks down his nose at people. He looks down his nose at people. He thinks the people of Tassing are beneath him. He's a bit of an asshat. But I do think... Hey, you are my patient. You are my patient. I want the best for you. Because if if something bad happens to you, that reflects badly on me as your doctor. Therefore, I am going to do whatever is necessary to keep you healthy. I do think he is a good doctor. So him saying like, right, you're not healthy enough to get out of bed, cancel the mural. That makes sense from him. We have Big George saying, oh, let's not cancel it. We don't need to cancel it entirely. We've got Paul saying like, why would we need to cancel? We haven't even agreed on what the mural was going to be. We can just put it off. And now we have Thomas. Oh yeah, let's abandon it. Let's abandon it. Why? Why for? 
Why for do you want to abandon it? It makes sense from Warner. Right. <clears throat> Indeed, it might be best to abandon the entire idea. Werner was saying for the time being. That is... You're not even... Then why, why are you here? Why were you listening in on the council meetings? Dickhead. Dickhead, what are you doing? But I, I love that. So I, mis I misunderstood you. Werner was saying like, oh, let's put it off. Let's put it off. Let's, let's shelve it. Let's not cancel it. Let's shelve it. That's what he meant. Just cancel it for the time being. And then Father Thomas jumped. Oh, yeah, we should abandon the idea. We should abandon. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on you. With respect, Father Thomas, you are not on this council. Yes, yes, just offering an opinion. I can paint them. Oh, you're going to have your head caved in now. Magda. Magda. You dead. You dead. I can paint the mural. What? Mags, quit joking around. Use my fucking name. Well, I know you want to help your dad, but aren't you too young for something this big? Oh. <laughs> I've been painting since before I could walk. You don't think I'm good enough. I'm old enough to run the print shop by myself and dad trusts me to illustrate the books. Isn't that enough? I'm older than Otz and he's on the town council and he doesn't even do anything. Why is Otz on the town council? Is, is it because of his dad? I assume that these people are on the town council. We have the councillors coming to see if Klaus, the guy who was working for them, Klaus might also be on the town council, I'm not entirely sure. But like, you know, he was doing work for the council, it would make sense for the councillors to all come and be like, oh shit, are you okay? Father Thomas is here because he a nosy bastard and I don't trust him. But you've, you've got the town doctor, you've got like the leader of the farmers, you've got the miller... You've got another well-educated person. I guess Otz is on the council because of his dad. As like a mark of respect to Otto, because Otto probably would have been placed on the town council. And he died before that ever happened. And then let's skip this debate. We all know I'm capable of doing this myself. Dad knows I'm capable. <laughs> Hell yes, let's, let's start flexing those negotiator muscles. Let's skip this debate. We all know I'm capable of doing this myself. Dad knows I'm capable. Hmm. If you don't trust Magdalene to do the mural, to hell with the lot of you. Get in there, father. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, priest man. Klaus. If you don't trust her, you don't trust me. I'll never do any work for this council again. Ooh. All right, I say we let her. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Very well. All right, Magdalene, you can do it. But you still need to talk to us about what you're doing, all right? Of course. Fine, but I'm taking Dad's ideas into it. I mean, we're obviously going to do that. We're obviously going to do that, but we're not going to tell them. Of course. Thanks, Magdalene. Rest up, Klaus. I'll do my best, George. A Magdalene, just a moment. Yes, what is it? I didn't want to say this in front of your father or the others. 
He's gonna go. It's a head injury. It's a head injury. Those are buggers. He's gonna go downhill. I, I'm, I'm thinking a miracle has happened. A miracle has happened. You know, he, he survived it. He's lucid. He can talk. But he's probably gonna go downhill fast. I cheat. Your father is lucid right now, but his injury is severe. His current demeanour is misleading. I know the injury is severe, Werner. I saw all the blood. What are you saying? I... I think she'd be in denial. I think she'd be in denial. This is her dad. This is her only family. This is her only family. The man who has raised her. The man who was raised a very canny lass. From everything we've seen of Magda, she is canny. And she is independent and she is clever and she has... She has a delightfully acidic tongue. She is a bright and bold young woman. And it's all because of him, because he's raised her to be this way. And I think the idea of him dying, I, I think she'd be in denial about it. What are you saying? Oh, fuck a duck. Magdalene, there is damage to his brain. Hmm. He may have a few weeks, maybe even a few months left. But he's not going to survive. So he, he has been murdered. It's just on a delay. It's on a delay. Assuming no one tries again. Oh my god. But he's not going to survive. No, there has to be something you can do. Can't we take him to see a surgeon? Say nothing. Can't we take him to see a surgeon? No, he can't be moved in this condition. In fact, he shouldn't move at all. Even if he could, I don't think the finest Italian surgeons would know how to deal with trauma like this. So he's just going to die? Say nothing, I think. Magdalene strikes me as the type of person who... How do I want to put this? She, she strikes me as the type of person to scream against the wind. Like, no matter the odds, no matter, you know, how, how dire things seem to be, she is someone who is like, you know, no, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to sort this. Like, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. And, you know, this is... I, I do trust Werner. I, I trust his judgment. I do trust his judgment. And if he says he's dying, I'm inclined to believe him. And I think Magda's the type of person to say, no, no I'm going to look death in the eye and I'm going to tell him to do one. I'm going to tell death to keep his grubby little claws off my dad. He can't die because I say he can't die. Fuck death. Like, I don't think she's the type to just stand about saying nout. So he's just going to die. And there's nothing I can do about it. You can make him comfortable and you can enjoy the time you have left. I can help with palliative care. But time will run out before long. I'm sorry, Magdalene. Dad needs to be able to see the mural in its finished form. But I don't know how much time he has left. Werner said it could be a few months, or... God protect him. I'll pick up where Dad left off. He wanted to paint the history of Tassing, from its earliest days to the revolt. I'll start with the earliest part of Tassing's history, the pagan tribes and the Romans. Then I'll move on to the founding of the Abbey and the Tassing Saints. After that, I should find a way to represent our recent history. Depicting the revolt is important to Dad. P. 
people in Tassing might know some of the town's history, but not all of it. Dad said the library in Kirso had those records. He was going to write to the last prioress to see if she had any information. I should write to her now while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Okay, I just... I don't... Ooh. Oh, Mother Illuminata. Mother Illuminata. Oh, they've cleaned up the blood. They've cleaned up the blood remarkably well. Damn. Um... Yeah, we can't... That was my thought. That was my thought. Are we an investigative portion? I'm, I'm thinking back to the previous acts. I'm like, are we in investigation mode? I don't think we are. Th then... I, I, what am I saying? I was about to say, um... Magda doesn't know that a crime's taken place, but like, yeah, Dodoy, there was an attacker. Dodoy, of course she realises that someone was trying to murder her dad. Duh. Um... But no, we, we can't leave the house, so we have to do this first. All right, where to begin? Dad told me the last prioress at Kearsau knew something about the old history of Tassing. He said she became the abbess of a convent in Bologna. Mother Illuminata? Yes, at Santa Margarita. I should write to her. Okay. Mother Illuminata, abbess of Santa Margarita, formerly prioress, prioress of Kearsau Abbey. Mother Illuminata, abbess of Santa Margarita, formerly librarian of Kearsau Abbey. Mother Illuminata, abbess of Santa Margarita. Um, I mean, she was, she was the prioress here, wasn't she? Wasn't she? Oh, God, and now I'm second guessing myself. She was the librarian, and then she became revered mother. And I'm pretty sure that's a prioress, right? <laughs> I think. I, th I think so. Mother Illuminata, abbess of Santa Margarita, formerly prioress of Kearsau Abbey. My name is Magdalene Druckerin. I do not believe we ever met as I was very young when you left Kearsau. I am the daughter of Klaus Drucker, Magdalene. We are printers from Tassing. I think, I think Illuminata would prefer something familiar. I, I think she would. Hmm. I do think Illuminata cared. I, I do think she cared for the townsfolk. My name is Magdalene Druckerin. I do not believe we ever met, as I was very young when you left Kearsau. You were acquainted with my father. He bought many books from the library before that terrible fire consumed the place. I am writing because my father and I are creating a mural in the Tassing Rat House. It's going to tell the history of our community and of Kearsau as well. We have only legends and folklore, since, of course, all of Kearsau's books were destroyed in the fire. I was hoping you could tell us something about the early history of the town when the Romans were here. If you know anything about the early history of the... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is dinging something. Wasn't shit. Act one. Act one with the Baron. He had a book. Did we ever find out what happened to that book? I rem I remember talking about this because Martin, real Martin, took the silverware, and everyone was like, "Oh, he must have nicked the book. He must have nicked the book." But it was like, "Well, why would he?" Why would he? Could Martin read? Why would he take some old book when there's shinies nearby? I don't think Martin realised how expensive the book was, so, like, why would he nick it? Did we ever find out what happened to that book? But I swear down, I swear down, the book was all about the early history of the Abbey. And the, the former, um... Oh, fuck... Head monk. 
abbot. There we go. I get there in the end. And the, the, the former abbot, he had wanted a copy of this book because he wanted to double check something. And we, we had a conversation. I think it was with Illuminata. I'm pretty sure it was with Illuminata. And we were asking him, like, oh, did, did the abbot... Did the abbot have like, did he have like a crisis of faith or something along, the, I'm, go, I'm having to go back so far. I'm having to go so far back in my memory here for this. And I'm dehydrated. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip, one second. Oh, this, this water would be better if it was cold. It's room temperature now. I... I swear down. I swear down. We never found out what happened to the book. And that it was relating to the early history of the Abbey. Or of the town. One of the two. The, the surrounding area. It was the early history of this area. Because the Baron made that threat. He made that threat like, oh, if, if you won't see the truth of everything then maybe you need to i can't fucking remember it like there goes my timer but like he made a threat he made a threat like oh if you aren't willing to discuss the church with me then maybe you need to learn the truth i mm, 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 mm. red flags Red flags, because I swear down, I swear down, this is sounding familiar. If you know anything about the early history of the Abbey itself, we would also be glad to hear of it. We would appreciate any help you could give us, and we hope you are well. My father always spoke highly of you, especially how you cared for the sisters after the fire. My father always spoke highly of you, especially how you cared for the library and its books. My father always spoke highly of your piety and intellect. If you would not mind a personal question, was it hard to return to Italy after many after being here for so many years? Ooh. I'm drawn to the top one. Yeah, she was she was an excellent librarian, yes. But which is more important, books or people? I love books, but people are far more important. My father always spoke highly of you, especially how you cared for the sisters after the fire. Keep well. God bless you. Thank you again. I mean, she's she's a nun. God bless you. Magdalene. If I want to finish the mural before Christmas, I should start planning tomorrow. I should head to bed and get as much rest as I can. Well, we will do that in the next episode. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.